And welcome to your Go Market Update, your final one for the week as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets here to lead you around what's happening in markets now. But positive session on Wall Street overnight as the S&P 500 is on track for the fourth straight week of gains. First time since August that that has been the case. Uh, the jobs data was slightly weaker than expected and probably ties into the narrative that the Fed may pause next week. Also, the bulls are encouraged by the fact that it was a broader-based rally than we've seen of late where Tech really has been the outperformer by a distance, but we saw more sectors participating, and that's good. We may see some Friday profit taken as eyes turn towards next week's Fed decision and CPI data. US futures are near neutral to start the Asian session. Uh, they've just drifted down a little bit, uh, but still within 0.1% across the board. Asian markets are generally higher following that US lead, with the exception of the Chinese markets that dropped off following the release of some data, uh, i.e. the PPI and CPI. ASX is positive, trading 0.4% of the upside of the materials and IT leading the way. And European futures are pointed to a slightly positive open at this stage, and the VIX continues to trade at lows not seen since February 2020. US dollar index on the back of that jobs data and the increasing belief that the Fed may pause dropped from the recent highs to hit two-week lows. Gold was a beneficiary and moved towards the top of the short-term range and copper also re resumed its recent up move and is testing resistance in Asia this morning. Gold has pulled back but still range bound. Uh, also a little weak in Asia today at this stage. Bitcoin is still holding support in Asian trading. And that, as I said, that Chinese PPI and CPI data was out this morning, softer than expected. Really quiet day today again as it's been all week, which doesn't help market direction on the FX particularly, but also commodities have been quite range bound for most of the week a couple of charts that caught our eye on the daily chart we're looking at the gb pound yen uh, this is highs not hits since 2016 uh, but you can see we have been pausing uh, around about this uh, 174 40 level and we breached that in today's trading so far if we look at the hourly chart there's that level there it did test it uh, at the beginning of the week, but as uh, but really didn't sort of take uh, advantage of that. Uh, and but you can see today looking very much stronger. One seventy five looks like a really interesting level. Uh, not only is it a, a nice round number, but also psychologically uh, that would precipitate some more buying. We suspect on the ASX we're still making call stocks. They've been strong for the last couple of days or so, and. Young Coal, ticker code YAL, looks like a really nice reversal. Bounce up around about 440 earlier in the week. And we've had some buying since then. A little pullback on Wednesday, but since then we had a good day yesterday. Continuation today. Looks as though we're going to pull down earlier in the session, but we're now trading in the top third of this candle. And it does look set for a potential move up to $5 which from today's price action would be around about 6% of the upside in the first instance, with the potential uh, for an even bigger rise in the medium term. So one to keep an eye on, probably the best looking technically of the coal stocks today, and worth having a check in on at the end of the day and on Monday. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.